Right, YouTube, it's Mad Monday Pedal Day, and the postman has just left. And uh, basically, I've got a package here to open. I've al already opened these, and this is a TU3 tuner boxed up, like new. Um, I think it's an early production one. Um, yeah, so I think they started making the TU3, uh, was it early 2000s or 90s or something? But anyway, this one is an early production version of it. And uh, yeah, so I've got that. So I just wanted to give you an update of what my plan is next to do. I have a small board. And I have a bigger board, which I use for, you know, all kinds of stuff, Henrik stuff. So I wanted another pedal board because I have a few pedals that I uh, generally want to keep. So uh, I don't want to sell them. So, so the only option was to get another pedal board because why not <laughs> have three pedal boards? So, let's um, open what's inside of here and let's see what we're going to get. So. So I've managed to take the uh, bubble wrap off, finally, with my hands, without no scissors or knife. And this is what we got. We've got an aluminium pedal board this time. An aluminium pedal board. Why not? Nice and strong, easy to wipe. Yeah, so let me grab some more pedals. And I'll show you what my plan is. And uh, then the next video will be um, an update on everything. So YouTube, the pedals I have currently, and the plan is to have them in this order, is the Boss Tuner first, a buffered pedal. That's a true bypass pedal. That's a mad professor big tweedy drive and then we got the mxr distortion plus which is a cracking pedal really love it um with that stacked with the distortion plus it just sounds magic this sounds magic on its own to be honest um that's why they sold so many back in the 80s and the 70s but, um, yeah, with a driven amp, or let's say with this pedal, because that's what this amp, uh, sorry, that's what this pedal is. It's took after, you know, a 50s Fender Tweed amp, big Tweedy drive. Uh, this sounds magic. And then obviously I've got an analog chorus, pink labeled one, uh, an early one. Um, which I picked up, and that's going to go after these two here. Uh, and then I've got space, I guess, for two more, I think. Um, I do have a Japanese uh, Boss OD2, which I'll probably put either there or after the course. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it plans out. Or... I do have MXR distortion. Um, this is a prime distortion pedal. And then I have 
a boss fuzz pedal but i probably wouldn't put the fuzz pedal last anyway but just shows you that it can take six pedals um and yeah it's gonna look great when it's finished really excited i only buy pedals which have a bit of character to them i like the pedals they don't make anymore a little bit <laughs> a little bit i like this pedal though it's really cool people slag it off um because it's uh, a digital pedal but um i think boss have got it right on the first pedal there um i think it's in people's heads there uh there is some boss pedals you know which are really good but not as good as some uh but they never really made a bad pedal in my opinion um and uh yeah i love mxr pedals um i think this is better made than this one but they're still made pretty well uh but yeah but uh that's it yeah so like and subscribe i will uh, keep you updated with the uh summer project thank you and like my band facebook it's uh mysterious blues the facebook page www.facebook.com slash mysterious tunes thank you